Hey guys, welcome to the Batty Podcast. Hope you guys are strapped in your chairs and having a whatever. Uh, morning first, Herbert. Brownie. I am Dylan. Enrique. And Jonathan. So Herbert, what are we going to talk about today? Um, I think we should talk about how much we care about each other. I know we had certain topics to talk about, but it's like a one minute conversation. No. Wait, actually, do you guys care about me for else? Like, yeah, like I, think from I, I think it's an unwritten you know, rule a run thing about us. Like, okay, if I call, okay, so if you only have one uh, person to call, who will you call? Like, one, if it doesn't go through, you're done. For what though? Like, you're you're about to die. If, but if that person answers, you're gonna make it. Like right here with the homies. No, okay, no. There's like, okay, somebody broke into your house. You <laughs> know, let's just call Ghostbusters. A Ghostbusters. Sure. Oh, it's a ghost. Uh, no ethnicity came into your house, said, "Hey, call somebody. If they don't pick up, I'm gonna blast the shit out of you." Okay, respectfully. I. Like, I'll go first. I'll go first. Okay. I'll call Jonathan. Okay. Because my boy's on call 24 7. So yeah. he has to answer a call no matter what. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. I will answer. <laughs> so, like, Jonathan's my first bet. I'm call sorry, guys. Your no, no my answer. parents will not answer, bro. <laughs> yeah. Like, get it. Like, it's like the 21st century. And, like, the, like, bro, like, answer your phone. You have a phone. But like, then when on. you don't answer, it's like they talk all the shit in the world because you don't answer your phone. All right. So, Herbert, who would you call? One Only one shot for us. Yeah, I'm from I'm a, Tina. I actually, Tina, I think Tina. Let me. How come you never let me finish <laughs> what I'm gonna say? Uh, I'm afraid to say this, but I think Ronnie has a point. Uh, I'm gonna go with Jonathan. I think because I, 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 I pick up your answer, but every phone. time I do call, you pick up. That's right. Most of the time, like yeah. 95, ninety percent. Yeah, ninety percent yeah. time. Hey, uh, who would I call? Fuck, I think me. I'll. You can't call yourself. Look, I'm sorry, okay, buddy. I'll call Enrique, <laughs> but fuck, I'm gonna have to look up the schedule if he's in class. Because if he's in class, mm. I'm fucked. I'm fucked, Rose. And if I call Herbert, or if he's on one of his actually, vendors, yeah. Ron, no, you guys, you guys <laughs> pick up though. You guys no, pick honestly, up. I I watch your call until it ends, <laughs> and I'm like, I'll text you. <laughs> like I'm the no. I'm the person that watches that call, and I'm like, you just <sighs> stare at it ring, and I'm just keep staring. I always yeah, pick it's like, up. All right. Unless yeah. I'm at work. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I gotta. It, it depends if it's like if it's like if I if her uh, Ron Enrique doesn't have class and fuck, I'll call him. Fuck it. If he answers, if not, then I die. I answer, but uh. Time. Yeah, uh, I know Herbert. He will answer it all the time. But today I did call you in the morning, though. And you started early. so mm. you, you Did that. you answer Herbert? No, no yesterday. Today. I called oh, you in the morning. Shit. And oh, you said right. you're like, I have class. Or he's like, I started work early yeah. or something. Or it was yesterday. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. It but yesterday. it was mm. a day that he started early. So I, I understand that. But I would have been dead, bro. I would have been dead. <laughs> Thank you, Herbert. But uh, Enrique, who who you call? I'd call you. Because you're never busy, so you'll answer. You're a bitch. <laughs> Fuck you guys. There you go, guys. All right, yeah. Dylan. Because Dylan, okay, Dylan, I'm not going to answer your phone call. For, I'll let you die. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, you can't call Enrique because I literally just called him about an hour ago and he sent me the voicemail. Oh, so. fuck. That was, okay, that was Ronnie, I think. Honestly, Ronnie, yeah, I, I, I no just, I, I, cl- I clicked then as soon as I saw that. I was like, yeah. No, for us, who would he call? I, probably my, my uncles or whatever, but I mean, apart from that, nobody loves me, so it's fine. I can't call my dog because he'll be like, nah. He <laughs> doesn't even know how to pick up a phone. He just, yeah. he just like tilts his head and looks at the phone. Yeah, he just yeah. tilts his <laughs> He's like, mm, nah, this fool's going to leave me alone at home again. Yeah, dude, I, but I do hate those people that when I, when you call them and they're like, they don't call you back until like next week. And you're like, bro, I, I forgot what I was going to tell you. Like, oh, yeah. like, I don't even know like, what you were trying to call. Sure. Yeah, like, fool. don't even call, dude. Like, get, actually, get, like, a, a Cricket a Wireless, right? Oh, yeah. Or Boost Mobile. I, I think Boost Mobile is still up there. But uh, going with uh, forward, uh, we're going to talk about pets. Um, I don't know if you guys have pets or not, but um, I don't know what's your favorite pet, but we're going to start with one. Uh, Herbert, what's your favorite pet? Oh, wait. But do you, do you have a pet? Yeah. So I've never had a pet. I've taken care of pets, but that's it. But if I do, I did have a pet, it would 100%. You know, stereotypical, be a dog, 100%. Why? Why dog? Because I want something to play around with. I a want big dog or small dog? Medium to big. I don't want a small dog. I think small dogs are too uh, dramatic. Yeah, they like sh- they like jump when they bark. I don't like they that. They shit. I thought you were going to say shit. They yeah. all shit, bro. Yeah. Actually, the big dog shit bigger. Like, That's crazy. I didn't know that. Whoa. No, but I'm just saying like, it, it, like you got to pick up the shit. That's a big shit that you got to pick up. Not in a small shit. Yeah, but, but uh, uh, what kind of dog will you get though? Like uh I, th- I see you with like a poodle, like a little poodle. <laughs> Actually, I wouldn't mind a poodle. I'm not gonna be. Honest. But uh, I was thinking about a, like a pomeranian. They're small though. That's basically a poodle. That's a I, tiny I a dog, yeah, bro. It's a tiny dog. No, they're like medium size. No, no they're not. Uh, pomeranians okay, are like not. one of the smallest okay, ones. They're, bro. they're literally a very furry chihuahua. Okay, I'll just that, edit this part out. I'll, I'll edit this out. No, it's fine. I'll, I'll tell you know. from experience. I've I've had one. Or a husky. That's a, a husky. Yeah. Killed by a car. 
Jesus. Okay, but a husky though, you know, you know, we live in a place where it's hot, and uh, huskies like the cold. Um, are you guys gonna nitpick every one of my? I'm just pets? curious. Like, are you gonna move to the mountains? Well, you gotta be critical because I mean, you're getting an animal, so you gotta make sure it's you know in the right yeah. condition. Okay. Honestly, it's it's like right. a kid. Fuck the dog. I'll get a cat. How about that? <laughs> Well, cat's even worse. Right, say, okay, here we go. Okay, <laughs> cats are right, cool, man. How about next? How about that? <laughs> okay, do, do you do you, have you do you like? Think I'm gonna get a fish, <laughs> <laughs> but those suck. They get wet. <laughs> you can't walk it. Do you like reptiles? No, not really. No, you're not type of no, reptile like no. snakes, insects, snakes, reptiles. No, you get scared. I'm assuming. I just don't want them. Like, what, what would I have them around? They're cool to hang out with. No, they're not. Right. They're always in the freaking. Glass what about a bird pool? like a parrot? Parrot might funny. be cool. Parrot might be cool. You can, you know, you can make. Uh, I think Christian Castro, one of our homies, he has two, three parrots, and he, I think one of them says like, uh, doesn't this one just say the racial slurs? Like yeah, no, it says bad, bad words like chinga tu madre and shit. Like yeah. for real, it does. And his mom gets mad, like, bro, don't teach him that shit, because like when people come over, like he just like fucking <laughs> cussing them out. That's pretty funny though. It is funny though. Like I'll, I'll be laughing, but I think he knows Messi. He says goal or Messi or something. Uh, mm. And then I think every single time he hears like that sirens, like he says something. I think he says like run. <laughs> just say, <laughs> but uh, so yeah, that's cool, man. Like you know, dogs. Are, are you gonna? Okay, so what do you want to get a puppy or do you want to get already like a full grown, like a year old? No, I'll get a puppy. I want to get a rescue. That's yeah. just that's for like um, just old people and the whites. That's not for me. <laughs> to, that's not for me. I rather I rather like you want to train them, right? Yeah. And you know, like it's. You know how who said that they, they're like a kid? Like, yeah, it's a lot of time that you got to put in. Like, I know I watch like some TikToks or Instagram videos that do you got to dedicate time for huskies too? Because once you, I don't know if you want to keep him inside or outside, like, you know, you have to understand like inside or outside. You know, well, that's still something I'm, I'm, uh, I don't, I don't know what I want with that, to be honest with you. Because huskies shed a lot. So it's yeah. like, do you want to be vacuuming him after the dog? Do you have, to, you know, you have to groom him, et cetera. And it's like, a, it's an expensive, uh, uh, like no, I'm gonna say hobby, but it's like, it's expensive. But if they're outside, they're not hanging out with you, and you're not outside. But well, they're okay. but if they're inside, you get to love them and pet them. They get to hang out with you. But if they're always outside, then then it's almost like why even have them? Well, I mean, they're dogs. I mean, that's <laughs> what. There's a, I mean, they're they're built for outside. I'm not, and I'm not like I'm not gonna love it if it's outside. That's not. That's just I don't know. Are, we, but are you gonna spoil them? Yeah, I hope you have to. Yeah, it's a dog. It's my pet. It's my buddy. All right, cool. That's cool. your boy. Yeah. So I'll go next. Uh, if I ever get a dog, I want to get one that doesn't shed as much. So it's like a a doodle mixed with like a, you know, different. So they don't shed inside like as much, you know. So, but that means that I have to take, I have to groom him. It's like you have to take care of them. Like I think it's a once a month you have to groom him. And grooming is expensive. If, if you're taking places like a hundred plus or even 200. So mind you, every month or like a month and a half, you had to groom him because, you know, you had to take care of their coat. Uh, and I do want to get a dog, though, that I could hike with or I could do sports with because um, I don't know. I always every time I go hiking or I go places and you see a dog like swell trained, though, like he's like, you know, he like he's friendly, but he knows when to attack. That makes sense. Like he he, he knows mm -hmm. on command. Yeah. Like if something's happening, like they know on command, like what's going on, like the danger or they even help you like they could rescue people and et cetera. I want a dog that could do that. So I you don't want know. to take him to the gym. Take like him have, to the gym. have him spot you on bench. See, but I don't know. Okay, you know, a lot of people they take him everywhere. Like their pets, literally everywhere. Like a family party, the dog comes with. You know, they, it's like no. I'm at a Best Buy. I see a dog. I'm like, Fuck. like you know, I, you know, I'm gonna keep. If I'm gonna take my dog, I'll, I'll take him places, but not everywhere. You know, that's just me. I will. Make sure that, you know, if I go hiking, yeah, fuck it. Like, it's nature, you know? Make sure he's on a leash and, and, and you know, respect others. Uh, and then there's other dogs out there. And I'll take him to the dog park. I want him to be friendly with other dogs because I want him to, or him or her, you know, to be out there, you know, like have fun. Um, I don't know about two dogs, though. To be honest, I don't know. Having two dogs is like double the work. But they'll have a friend. But that's, I'm, I'm their friend. Me. That's me, bro. But I'll you, be, don't, you don't sniff your dog's butt. I'll, if it, I'll do it. Like once a month, <laughs> uh, but no, I, I think, I think you just got to train it, but yeah, you're right. If you do have like another dog, I guess it's easier cause it could play with each other. So you don't have to worry too much about them, but you still have to both take them out. Like, you know, you can't, you know, you can't keep them indoors all, all the time. So the cool thing is having a backyard though. Some people, you know, if you have a house, you have a backyard and you could like let them roam, roam around. Uh, in my backyard, I do have skunks. So I don't want to fucking have them like, you know, or fight, you know, sometimes like they, they bark at it, but growing up, I do have, um, I did had a 
German Shepherd and a Husky or a Pipple mix. Demon or, was his name. No, no, that was a Pipple. But I, the first one we had, it was Sparky, and it was a German Shepherd with a uh, Rottweiler mix. And he was so friendly uh, until, like, he stayed with us for, like, yeah, 13 years until my parents had to put him down because, you know, it was already, he was getting too old. But um, I grew up with them. And then, so I always grew up with a dog uh, until now because, you know, I, I don't live with my parents anymore. But it's like, I do want to get a dog, but I'm kind of considering what type of breed and et cetera. And I do want to get him as a puppy to train him and, like, to make sure that they're, like, well educated. If they can, and probably, like, put him some podcasts, like, the Baddies podcast. Or like you know, get him educated. Put on him to work. Yeah, oh, put yeah. him to work. You trying to bore him to death or what, bro? What do you mean? He's gonna learn a lot, bro. He's gonna learn a lot about you guys, you know. So he knows what to do with you guys or not to do with you guys because you guys are kind of wild and shit. So outside or inside? Both, like a hybrid. I guess. Like when like when I'm when I'm like when I'm like away from the house and I want to have him outside, I could let him go outside. I do have a doggy door. I don't know if you guys see, but there's a doggy door in my house. So do you ever go through it? Like if Monica gets mad at you? No, I don't wag my tail either. No. no, I don't have a tell. <laughs> but yeah, so I did growing up though. I did have like chickens. I had a uh, roosters, like the little roosters. And I, like my parents, I, uh, we built a cage in the back. Like my uncle helped me and my brother build the cage. Uh, so we had roosters, chickens, uh, palomas or like doves. Like uh, and then my I remember my mom buying us a parrot. And that parrot, I remember this. It's so sad. That parrot only lasts or like lived with us for like about six months when we were little. And I remember. We had like a remote control car. You and ran used, into it with no, it? No, no, no. We used to we used to like go around the house with it, like with it. And then one day, like he was in his cage, and we woke up, and he just like passed out, like dead. And I was like, "What the hell? Like what? Like what? we were feeding him the same food. I don't know. Like I don't know if he had a heart attack. I don't know what the hell he had, but yeah, he was dead. So wait, so what happened with the car? Yeah, like the no, remote no, control. No, car. the yeah. remote control car. I thought was you like hit it. You brought that up for a reason. You just had to have no, no connection. No, I brought it up like that. We used to play with him. Like we used to put him on the remote control car. And oh, he used to, yeah. So, cool. so he used to be going around the house with the remote control car, like in it. Like that's pretty bad. It, so it's like it was fun to have the parrot, but then after you know it passed away, like they're expensive. They're, they're expensive now, but even before they're kind of expensive. And I think my mom always. She didn't want us Did to you get. Have like caldo de pollo like the next week. I was like, mom, what is this? Tastes like parrot. <laughs> no, I just say no. I, but uh, my mom always, every time we would like, you know, like try to get another like pet, she would always say no, like because she's like, no, like you guys are not gonna take care of the dog or the whatever we're gonna get because I know you guys. You guys get excited for a week or two, done. After that, I had to feed him. Next, thing you know, you guys don't care about it because we're little. I was I was in freaking elementary and middle school. It's like I, they have stuff to do. I had to go play with my boys outside. Mm-hmm. And, so I'm not going to be home all the time. So my mom, like, she had a, like, she was right about it. But, um, you know, at the time, I was like, no, mom, I want this. And the mom, last. Mom, please. Yeah, the last time, like, um, I, we ended up getting reptile, uh, re- re- uh, snakes. So we got snakes in my mom. You had snakes, too? <laughs> yeah, Did you dude. put it in the car, too, in the remote control car? No, no. Those snakes, uh, we had them in our room. <laughs> we had them in our room. And I remember uh, me and my brother had them in our room. And, like, we had uh, two corn snakes and one python. We got two of them for free. We bought one. And I remember it was the corn snake. It was a pink one, the small one that we bought. It was a uh, cost us like eighty something dollars, um, you know, plus the tank and et cetera. You know, you had to and then the food. And yeah, we used to feed it like pinky. So these are little like mice or like rats, the baby mice. Yeah. So yeah. we used to do it was so sad because like you could hear them. But yeah, they, going through. I going mean, through. But, it. but yeah, I know it's 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 life, right? But uh, so I remember one morning though, my it was like six before going to school because we wake up like at six thirty seven. my dad woke me up because he had to go to work he's like hey he's like come to the restroom like the snake is out and i was like dude we're like half asleep we're like what so we get up and yeah the snake one of the corn snakes that we got for free was in the back of the radio we had a radio in the in the restroom that we always you know you, you play ra- like music and it was in the back right there chilling so we grabbed the fucking snake. Remind you, we're like half asleep. Me and my brother, we, we we grabbed it, put it back in the like the tank. And after that, my mom was like freaked out. She's like, uh, uh-uh. and I remember coming back home from school, uh, like I don't know, it was cold. That I think it was during like November, or December. Coming back and the snakes were outside. And and after that, like they couldn't take it because they were supposed to be in warm temperatures and they froze to death, dude. So like, yeah, my mom said, "Fuck this." She put them outside, and yeah, it, she it didn't was, know. Huh? I don't well, know. I don't did. know. To be honest, I don't know if she knew or not. I think she probably did, and she wasn't well educated about that. But like, how did you feel when you are like you came home and they're like three I, dead snakes? Well, I, I don't know. I, I didn't really like. I wasn't really too attached to them because they were kind of scary. Some of them were like, I don't know. Like I was kind of scared. They, they're they don't they're not venomous, right? So, but like it's just like you know, holding them was fun. 
but when they're shedding and they're cleaning and they smell like if you don't clean them it's like so it was kind of a process but yeah after that like yeah no more reptiles for sure dang so and then we had fishes koi fishes we had a pond in the back so the koi fishes were fun but I remember uh, coming home too, like after a party, uh, we saw one koi fish out, and I think one of the nearby rat uh, was it behind the radio? Cats? No, it was it was outside. The cat ate it, and you just see the skeleton of the koi fish. And mind you, koi fishes are expensive. I don't even know how much a koi fish costs, but it it costs you one of them will be like fifty bucks, just one. And we had like multiple koi fishes and goldfishes, but the goldfishes like you know you could buy them pet smart like six for a dollar or whatever. Mm-hmm. But the koi fishes were more expensive, exotic. Uh, but yeah, like they, it's, it, it's all maintenance. We always had to run the pump like on the, on the pond to like circulate the water and make sure there's no algae growing. And we had like, it, it was pretty cool at, at the time when we had, when we built the pond in the back, but yeah, we had it all. It was like freaking, I, I felt like my house was a like, freaking, um, uh, zoo and shit a at zoo? some point. Yeah. Damn, yeah. That's Enrique, crazy. Enrique, anything, any pets or. Any you had a pet? bunch of pets. That's yeah. crazy. I didn't have any. So my store is gonna be very short and quick. So um. Okay, what kind of dog you want? Or no, I'm saying what kind of pet you want? No, no, no. start with the pets, yeah. Um, I would, you get a house, so you buy the house. I would want, like you said, I guess indoor and outdoor. I guess. Um, like I understand the shedding argument, but I don't. I also don't really care about it. Like I feel like like that's just the price you pay. I'm not trying to be picky with that, but. Um, what do I want? I don't know. Definitely a big dog because I'm active, and I would want the dog to be active with me. So a small dog wouldn't work for me. Um, which one specifically? I don't know. I mean, German Shepherd, Husky, there's a bunch of cool big dogs. I definitely want to train them. But the Great Dane. Golden Retrievers are smart, no? I think Golden Retrievers are pretty smart dogs. Yeah. I think so, so I think you'll like that because you, you could teach them how to, like, Elon Musk you and should, shit, how to teach them to fight stocks. Teach them about Tesla. That's yeah. random. but um, <laughs> SpaceX. Um, but, but, I mean, yeah, I, I guess I don't know which one specifically yet, but but definitely when I have a house, definitely a big dog and um, indoor and outdoor. Do you like cats? I'm just banning. Cats are cute. I think cats are indoors and they're they're cute. They're fun. They're more playful and fun than dogs, I guess. But what you guys don't agree with that? <laughs> no, I would get. I think so. Have you guys ever cats. had a cat with you? I've Literally, everyone looked around. Like, what do you mean cats are more playful than dogs? It, it shows that you probably got, you've never seen a, a cat but, that's that's the house. I, that's fun. I heard that cats hold grudges. Is that my my trip? Well, yeah, they, they tend to hold grudges because dogs kind of forget. Like if so, if if you step on a dog, they're kind of like. Oh fuck! You stepped on me. You're like fuck you. Like I'm mad at you. Like for one second after that, I'm happy. And then, but cats hold it. Like you step on the cat, and the cat might hate so I'm, you. I'm curious, Ronnie. <clears throat> since you had a cat, did you ever step on it on accident, or let's say you Smack. kick, like you're walking, or you just kick it on accident when <laughs> you're like, <laughs> like, it's like, oh yeah, he'll um, well at least my cat, he'll he'll go after me. He'll chase me. Yeah. Oh fuck. Like slowly Literally. but surely, like you know, like their little claws, man. They're freaking sharp. Don't they, take him, don't they take him Like, you don't even feel it, and then later, like, you're bleeding. You're like, holy crap. This it's fucker like, got me. Damn, the motherfucker. Yeah, and they're quick. They're crazy. Oh, they're fun. Honestly, though, I love that little guy. But they're fun, right? They're fun. They're fun. They're they're cute, and, and there's a lot of ways to play with them. They're, they're fun. Yeah, yeah. I feel so. like if you know, you know. If not, then that's fine. Oh, I mean, yeah, no, definitely. I, I used to hate cats until I actually started seeing house cats and, like, how they're fun. They're super playful, and they're funny, and they're cute. And it's like, damn, like, I, I never imagined cats like that. I just thought, I just assumed mm-hmm. always, like, like I, I didn't <clears> like cats. Yeah. I'm not saying I love them now, but. I don't know. I would still probably get a dog. No reptiles. You don't um, like reptiles? No fish. I don't what care about for them. like a gerbil, like a hamster? I, I don't. Oh, a guinea pig? Mm, like a guinea pig? No, I never had them. Like, oh, so speaking of guinea pigs. Um, <laughs> you ate Well, right pig. now, yeah. Like my parents have a cat. I grew up with that cat. And that's the only pet we've had here, at least in the States. But back like growing up. Um, so like <clears throat> my parents' house, my house, um, was a joint with like my grandparents. But they had... Like, I grew up with, like, two parrots, bunch of bunnies, oh, a bunch of guinea cool. pigs. Bunnies are cool. Yeah, so, like, I remember, like, when I was little, like, me and my younger brothers, like, obviously, they would let the bunnies, like, run around everywhere, and it was a big house. And then, like, before sunset, they would be like, okay, guys, like, when you put them back in the cage, like, go get them all. Oh, so, I'll be God. over there, like, chasing bunnies, and they're quick, bro. But we have to, like, catch them all, and, like, put them in the cage, and as well as the guinea pigs. Um, but, no, yeah, and then, obviously, we grew up with dogs, too. So, uh, we had, like, a, we had a golden retriever. Oh, and then we had a white Labrador. Super cool, man. And we never had a cat up until we got here. That sounds fun. Honestly. Yeah, dude. I grew up with a bunch of pets. Actually, too. you you just brought back a memory. I think I had a bunny once for like a week. Mm-hmm. Because it was outside in a, in a box or whatever. Still like a baby. It, it it grew a little bit, I guess. But yeah. one day I got home and there was white fur everywhere. <gasps> I guess a cat, mm. a bird, something must have must have messed it up. One and I mean, it, yeah. I never saw it from that day on. We only, We literally had it for like a week. And, and yeah, it was gone. Man. So I, I forgot about that. 
No, yeah, we had yeah, we had cages for dude, those guys. I re- you just brought up something. I had a duck too, but a spark, duck? sparky, oh, no sparky. Honestly, dude, sparky ducks, ma- ducks are pretty cute, dude. Yeah. You had two pets named Sparky. sparky no, Sparky. Duck? No, Sparky. Sparky the first. The duck. The duck. I don't know. No, Sparky messed up the duck. Like I was saying, Sparky killed uh, the duck. So, but it's like it, it's because. See, the thing is, like, I don't know. When you get mad at your, if your dog does something like that, it's like, fuck. Like they're, I don't know. They're like, you know, they're they're all about like you know eating survival and shit. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, so, yeah. I don't know. I, unless you like gr- uh, put them together when they're p- uh, puppies and like, like it's babies. instinctual like, for them. Grow up yeah. together, in a sense. Like you can smack them and be like, don't do that. But it's like, fuck. Like yeah. when you leave them alone, you better like you know. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so uh, Dylan, dude, I know Dylan. Dylan, Dylan has Dylan's a Dylan's a father. Know, yeah, he's a father of a a perro. <laughs> so so up, I Dylan? grew up in Florida. Hell, hell yeah. Which I don't recommend it. Uh, man, yeah, I mean, I, I had a lot of animals. I've had Rottweilers. I've had uh, uh, pit mixes. I've had Shih Tzus. I've had Pomeraniums. I've had Schnauzers. I've had uh, frogs, turtles. I had a cockatiel. I had a um, sun canor. Um, okay, what's the sun canor? I'm sorry, like so it's, it's a bird. Or something? Yeah, it's it's a bird. Um, they they're kind of like mangoes, where they're green once they get their furs and I mean their 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 feathers, and then as they mature, they start to get like orange yellow, which is mm-hmm. kind of interesting. Okay. Um, so I've had that. I haven't had any cats. Well, not not me personally. Uh, my uncles had like six cats, so that's how I know how they are, and I don't really Damn. like them. They're cool. Um, let's see what other dogs I've no found. reptiles, uh, frogs, yeah. and and I, I didn't really have much as pets. I just didn't really have a choice in Florida. Uh, I was around iguanas a lot, so I guess I could kind of count those as my pets. <laughs> uh, I grew up next to a lake, so I did kind of have uh, pet ducks. Um, my sister got a uh, baby chick when uh, you know we were little, and it actually grew up to be um, a big hen. Uh, but I mean, it wasn't really a hen; it was a, a cock. It was a, a male, but they get actually pretty big. They're about three feet. Um, and they have like feathers on their feet. Um, and he would sleep on the top of the fence. And, uh, once, so we lived in a cul-de-sac, we were at the end of the cul-de-sac and, uh, these, um, these gringos came by one day and they're like, Hey, we'll, we'll buy that chicken from you guys. And, uh, we're like, nah, that's, that's our pet. Next morning, the chicken was gone. They sold it. So they came back and they stole it. Um, we've had cockerels too, which are the, the little chickens. Uh, they're about, I don't know, about a foot. Uh, and those sucked because we had to, um, you know, Florida and God types to wipe Florida off the earth every year, about two to three times a year. Um, so we had to chase the cockerels around to try to put them in their fence in, in their their enclosures or whatever. And it sucked because they're fast. They're they're very, very fast. Um yeah, I've I've had all kinds of animals, you know, growing up and animals are great. I, I wanted to get a um a chameleon. Oh, once cool. but the uh the the three horned one i think they're they're called uh jackson's chameleons uh and i wanted to get one of those because they're super cool but you got to get you know one of the uh like a fish tank and stuff and you got to yeah. do all this stuff so at some point in my life i might get one um right now i do have a corgi which a lot of people know because i talk about him a lot and i was post pictures and stuff uh he's about seven months old now you got him pretty young right as a puppy yeah you got him how young? I got him when he was eight weeks old. So that's usually uh, around the time that you are, I don't want to say legally, but y- you're allowed to actually get uh, uh, puppies because that's when they um, they don't need their um, mother's milk anymore. Um, so I got him at that age. And yeah, now he's about seven months old. And I mean, he's, he's, he's great. He's a little, he's, he's a little crazy. He's, he's got a lot of energy and stuff. Um, and a lot of people think that corgis classify as small dogs, which they don't. They act. I I learned this before I got them too. They classify as medium dogs. And what's crazy is always. I mean, I don't think I know anybody that hasn't seen a corgi before. But you look at them and you say, "Oh, that's a small dog. Can they, you know, can they hike? Can they, you know, like be outside and stuff?" Because I mean, if if you think of a, a chihuahua, you don't take them camping. You don't take them, you know, hiking. You don't do any of that. You don't take them to the beach, really. You know. <laughs> But uh, corgis love all that stuff. And, you know, I've actually done a lot of reading where uh, people say that uh, corgis can, can keep up with, like, bigger dogs when it comes to hiking and going above rocks and, like, all these kinds of stuff, which is kind of interesting because they have the, those little legs and stuff. But, 
yeah, I mean they're 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 pretty fun and people have never seen this. I mean, uh, not a lot of people, but corgis are actually good at hurting hurting animals. So they'll run after them and just kind of like group them all up and everything. It's it's their their primal instinct, um, and that you have to kind of add, like how do I say like exercise that that um, that instinct for them. But it's crazy because they're, they're they're fast. They're very agile. And for those that don't know, sometimes you'll see a corgi with a tail, and sometimes you see them without the tail, right? Um, and I I get a lot of questions about that, like, oh, did did you tell them to cut off the tail or or what? But no. Um, for purebreds, for them to actually be classified as a purebred, um, it is like a trademark of the breed that they have to have the tail, what is called docked, which is to have it taken off. Uh, they don't really feel it because, you know, when they're that small, they're only like a few days old. Um, they don't really feel it when it's it's taken off. Now, for the record, I do not approve of that kind of stuff you know of like modifying you know your your animal in any kind of way because that sucks right like you you wouldn't want anybody cutting your ears off because they don't look right you know what i mean um but i didn't really have a choice i got mine from a breeder uh so they kind of have to do that so they can classify as that breed and then and, and full breed and stuff like that so yeah i mean there's there's a lot of information that's kind of when we we're talking earlier um and um we're talking about like getting the right kind of dog and yeah you have to do a lot of research i see a lot of people that get animals and they don't really know what it takes to take care of them so they'll get them and then they end up having to give them away which sucks because they realize that you know even they're they're just animals and they might you know like you might think oh they're they don't know they're just going to another house or whatever but they know you know and so when you see a rescue sometimes you know you'll you'll rescue them and they're they'll be you know just just aggressive or anxious or whatever it's not anything you did it's how they've been treated before right um and, and like enrique said earlier you know are, are you going to spoil you know your your um your animal and my answer is yes right because um you get these animals and and then you treat them like family and you want to make you know make sure that their life is is fun uh my corgi glass he gets like all kinds of toys but at the same time don't overfeed your animals yes that's People, that, people neglect that and they end up having like obesity and you never know. They have diabetes and you never know. You're just overfeeding them a bunch of stuff. What do they call um, those overweight animals? Chonkers? Some chunky boys? Yeah. So it, it a lot of people like to um, spoil the, your animal with food and with treats and stuff. And as you may think that, like, sure, they don't know, right? Because they're just like, oh, this is, this is, this is delicious, right? Mm-hmm. You know? But they give them all these things and then, you know, they end up being overweight. And, for example, we're talking about, you know... Uh, my corgi, sometimes you'll see, you know, these these big chunky ones and you're like, oh, that's cute. But it, it, you don't realize that it hurts their spine, it hurts their legs. And then as they get older, they get a lot of health issues that they can't tell you, hey, my legs hurt. Hey, my back hurts. Right. And they just put up with it, which sucks. So you have to kind of learn, you know, how to uh, take care of them and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, I mean, it, it's it's just one of those things you got to treat them as somebody that you love and you care about, you know. Exactly. Also, too, if you have, like, a long dog, I think you were talking about that, where, like, when you pick them up from their fr- two front legs, like, you, you grab them from the shoulders, I guess, that's not always good for their spine or whatever? Yeah. L- some people, you know, they'll, they'll they'll pick up the animal like they're picking up a kid, right? You know, you pick them up from the shoulders, that's, that's just, like, I guess, like, a human instinct or, or whatever, but... Um, How would you pick them up? Well, so, it, it's, it's especially when they're smaller because their bones are still developing, um, especially longer dogs. Like Enrique said, you know, we're, we're talking about... Uh, um, like a wiener dog? Yeah, like like dachshunds and stuff like that. You know, you, you want to grab them from the chest, but also have a hand holding the butt so that you're supporting the spine. Because as they're growing, then the the, um, the discs of their spine and then their joints, they, they tend to, you know, not form properly. Mm-hmm. And they'll have a lot of issues. So... Mm-hmm. It's it's one of those things when when you get a puppy, a lot of people say, "Oh, they're they're so cute," but they take a lot, a lot, a lot of work, you know. And this is something that you know, I've experienced firsthand the amount of work it takes. Like my dog knows a lot of uh, uh, commands and stuff, and a lot of people ask me like, "Oh, uh, do they know how to shake? Do they know how to roll over?" I'm like, "No, that's a useless skill." Like when when you're training your 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 dog, let's, let's say in this example, you want to keep the useless things to the side because their attention span is already very limited right it's like a kid you want to teach them the things that they need to learn because if you start teaching them all this other stuff then they're going to want to do the things that are easier 
and, and it's it's kind of funny because I'll I'll tell Glass to go to his crate, and he's so smart because he'll go to his crate and he'll jump out because he's like I already did it. Now give me my tree, right? So they're they're very smart. Even at six months, seven months, they know how to like try to outsmart you and stuff. So so you want to teach them the things that that are going to be good for their health. So that as they're growing, uh, you can build on those things. And then, you know, they, they, they take those as, as fun and, you know, loving things. But, yeah, I mean, having pets is awesome. You just get, like, a good satisfaction when you tell them to do that, that, that command and they do it. You're like, oh, heck, yeah. Like, I, yeah. I did the right thing, you know. Um, but, yeah, don't, do not overfeed your dogs. That's one of the worst things you could do about it. And make sure you're getting the right treats. Rawhide, bad. Okay, that's that's oh, right. Right. bad. Yeah, it's it's bad. It's 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 got a lot of chemicals that's used to treat the the raw hide that can affect your animal. Um, it, it 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 could be very negligible, but it could also be a case where you know your dog can get sick, um, and also the pieces of it um, when they're chewing on it. If if they're not chewing them properly and stuff like that, they can swallow them, and that kind of stuff can can be bad. You know, for so what are good trees? Uh, just things with like uh, chicken. You you don't want to give too much uh, red meat because that that does tend to to affect their um their system in a way that could make them aggressive. Mm. Um, so that's why you see a lot of treats that have more chicken, fish, grains. Um, I get glass um a um a subscription service called BarkBox where every month they send you two two different treats and then uh, two toys. Uh, and the treats uh, can be things like, um, uh, they'll be like pumpkin, like little treats. Pumpkin I have one spice. that's that's like, a, it's it's got like bacon and oatmeal. Um, and I have some that, that have like berries and stuff, but on the side for his treats, which he loves, I like to get him those little baby frozen carrots from, um, from Costco. And he loves those treats. Like, it, well, they're not really treats, but to him they are, you know, like, like I tell him, I don't really tell him treats. I tell him snack. Like, you want a snack, right? Because I, I feel like treat just kind of seems like a little, you know, condescending. So I just say, hey, you want a snack? And then he, he just perks up. And he loves those carrots. Even though they're, they're frozen, which is good. It's, it's better uh, frozen when they're smaller because they're teething. So they start biting it and it feels good on their gums. But they get used to it and they like a little bit of a crunch. And he loves blueberries, too. Uh, yeah, so Herbert loves that too. <laughs> yeah, that's glass, glass glass eating good over there. I wish I did treats. No, I'm curious to know because <laughs> I've seen videos of uh, you know dog uh, pet owners YouTubers that they feed their animals raw meat. Oh, like chicken, like chicken, yeah. beef. So I'm curious, like, because I don't know. Right, I just see him. So I hypothet in my head, it's like, oh, I guess that works. But is there so it depends in in bigger. Uh, it's usually big dogs. Just like like humans, you know, everything in uh, uh, in moderation and stuff. Um, like you can do certain things like that. You could even just boil, you know, uh, a chicken breast and stuff like that, and cut it up and stuff. Do not season any meats or anything you give your dogs because those seasonings could affect their system. Um, but yeah, I mean, just just regular food too. Uh, my mom has a, a chihuahua that has no teeth because he's so old. His tongue just some my, my fucking hangs uncle. down. That's fine. Um, and she'll uh, boil some some chicken breast and rice. And then she'll just mix it up or whatever, and he can eat it because it's it's soft. Um, but yeah, I mean, just stuff like that. And you'll go to Petsmart, and there's about five or six different aisles of all kinds of different foods and stuff, you know. And it, it you just have to do your research on what kind of stuff you want to give your animals. And when you're switching their food, you got to be careful not to switch it like so quick because that can affect their system too. There's just a lot to to learn and. It's great, you know, because you you learn all the good things and all the bad things you could do. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's there's a lot of misconceptions about you know owning animals and and people think that oh it's just an animal, right? I could just you know do this. But if 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 you're a person that just thinks that way, where oh it's just an animal, then you shouldn't have an animal, right? Because you no one's forcing you to have this this creature, and all they're doing is loving you. So you just want to treat them right. It's true. And I know Ronnie, uh, well, you just had a cow huh, your whole life. Or oh, dogs too, but... Well, they, Ronnie oh, raises yeah. guinea pigs because he likes to eat them, so that's different. Yeah, don't... Do they they, were, don't yeah, they were not pigs. raised for pets. Let's just, <laughs> let's just put it that way. No, but with you, like cats, I think you'll have a cat, right? Again, like your own cat? Honestly, uh, yeah, like Dylan, me and Dylan were talking. Uh, there's those Japanese, like, cute little cats. I, what's the name? The Munchkin Cat. They're so that's cute. That's the only cat I would ever Dude, own. but they're pricey, though. They are they're pricey. pricey. They're probably like two um, I would yeah. also not mind maybe a hairless one. I know they look hairless. a little freaky, but 
I think they're cool. What are called? Spin, uh, what is it called? Spin, something with S P I N. The X, Sphinx. Sphinx, yeah. Sphinx cats, yeah. No, those are cool. A little, they're a little rare. high maintenance in both of those, but honestly, I wouldn't mind them. They're cool. But you know, dogs, or maybe, maybe honestly. But I know dogs are more like high maintenance for sure. Dog cats, they're yeah. chill, low maintenance, independent. independent. It's a cute cat. dynamic when it's a dog and a cat as mm-hmm. puppies or babies or whatever. Because then they yeah. play with each other. Then they grow up together, so that they're friends. So it's mm-hmm. cool to see the dynamic of those two animals when they're friends. Exactly. Yeah, so guys, right? Um, we're gonna end it, but yeah, I hope you like our pet talk. Uh, and we're gonna have a uh, what is it called? We're gonna have some, I think, events for sure in November. Because uh, 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 Ronnie's laughing, but for sure, all year. I know, huh? But uh, it's raining though. The, the weather's weird. Uh, Halloween's around the corner. Please, if you're gonna uh, dress up, you know, don't scare kids and stuff like that. You know, we're adults, but yeah, I know there's gonna be a lot of Halloween parties. Please drink and drive. I would say don't drink and drive. Do not, please. Uh, Herbert, do not. Yeah. Drink responsibly and do not drive. Get Uber. How much does Uber cost right now? Like 10 bucks a pot. Well, it depends how far you go, but you'd rather get the uh, Uber than $10,000 and a messed up record. Uh, so, yeah. So, have fun. Uh, have a good time in this, uh, you know, Halloween time, you know, spirit. Next thing you know, it's going to be Thanksgiving. Next thing you know, it's going to be the end of the year. So 2024, it's around the corner. And summer's going to be around the corner too. So, if you, you got to start working out. For your uh, summer body now, all right, Herbert. Now, it's no, getting it's getting there. Yeah, I, I know it's Herbert. I know Herbert hit the gym today, so I'm ha- I'm proud of him. Like every time he says gym, I was like, bro, that's dope, man. Like I thought, I do hear the weights clamping in the background, you know. So like, right, you're not lying to me. <laughs> it might be something else, but you know, you're probably just telling people to hit, clamp. No, I think when Herbert says gym, he's talking about his boyfriend Jim. Yeah, oh, <laughs> he's cheating on me, which I don't that? appreciate. But you know, as long as he's at the gym, yeah, then well, you know. At least he doesn't have a pet, so he doesn't you know have time for somebody else. Uh, I like to be the only person of interest. You're the only pet, huh? Yeah, yeah. You, you like snacks, but yeah, yeah guys, uh, stay tuned. Uh, watch our TikToks for gym uh, related videos, our Instagram for the reels, uh, and in our Spotify and Apple Podcasts and all right, yeah, Apple Podcasts and uh, YouTube for our podcast. And thank you guys so much for listening. We'll see you guys soon. And hit us up if you guys need any motivation because hey, we're gonna eat a lot this year for sure because the holidays are coming. We're by. getting fat. We're not going to get fat, but we're eating a lot. All right, guys? All right, talk to you guys soon.